welcome welcome once again to chosen generation tv oh my god we made it to 2019 welcome once again to 2019 my name is ik ikbewosa i hold turbo and i'll be chosen generation tv and of course we're a part of divine eagles ministry and we are here this year super excited ready to run and roll the race that God has given to us. So I want to welcome you that you and I made it into 2019. We are not going to take it for granted. We're going to be excited about it. There's so much to be grateful for. So many people started last year with us and they did not finish 2018. And so it's a joy, it's an honor, it's a privilege for you and I to be in 2019. And so let's just say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for this time and this season. We thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for being the one to lead and guide us. We thank you because you're going to open up our ears this morning to hear your word and to hear all that you have for us in 2019. We are grateful and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I pray for you today that 2019 shall be a year of abundant harvest for you in every way. When I spoke to you the last time, I said it's going to be a year of abundance, all around abundance, whereby you have everything that you need in the Lord Jesus. And so what are we talking about right here, right now? We're talking about the abundance that God has for you, according to Ephesians 3, verse 20, that we are standing on. And that abundance comes with harvest. Whatever you have sown into the kingdom of God, this is the year that you are going to reap a hundred folds in the name of Jesus. And I want you to get excited because God is still about in the business of being good. He's not mad at you. He's not upset at you, but he doesn't like sin. Amen. And he has nailed sin to the cross of Calvary. And I pray that you and I will live a, a year of sincerity, a year of righteousness, a year of right standing with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so what are we doing in the very first episode, second episode of this year? We're just going to just share about the testimonies of what the Lord has been doing, feedbacks that we've been getting back from viewers like you, and what the Lord is doing in your life and in the life of so many that have heard us in all of 2018. In 2018, we got started in July. In 2018, the Lord has multiplied us, has, has increased us from glory to glory. In 2018, we've seen a lot of those who were sick being healed. In 2018, a lot of depression. I tell you, there are so many more people with depression like than you can ever think or imagine. The people are depressed. People are thinking about their nations. They're thinking about, you know, their stocks, their bonds, what they've lost, things, illnesses, so many things, broken homes, broken marriages, broken relationships, you know, parents looking for their kids, kids getting angry and leaving home. And we've seen a lot of restoration, a lot of peace. You know, when people call and, and they and they tell us how much this messages have been blessing them. And you know, the whole thing we always say all the time on Chosen Generation TV is that we pray and hope that you believe in God and have a better relationship with Him. We said we were given for the spirit of heaviness, a government of praise. Our joy is to bring you joy like a river. Where there is sadness, there should be joy. Where there is a loss of hope, there should be hope. Where there is doubt, above all, there should be faith. And we'll believe in faith and grace, walking hand by hand in this ministry. And so we talk about faith all the time, believing what the Lord has done. And receiving it by grace, not because you're good, not because I'm good, but because God has declared you and I through St. Paul's writing that we are the righteousness of God. And we truly believe that. Someone was sharing a testimony with me the other day and said to me, you know, woman of God, I just want to thank you for this videos that you guys have been shooting out because my faith has grown. My faith has grown. Oh my God. 
That brings me joy. The whole idea is for us to grow in faith and to receive the grace of God. We say it all the time that God is not mad at you. Why do we say God is not mad at you? Because he truly is not mad at you. He's not mad at what you're doing. But he's mad at that thing that you're doing. And he wants you to stop. He wants you and I to live a life of sincerity. In 2019, you're going to live a life of sincerity. You're going to live a life of abundance. You're going to live a life knowing fully well that God is the one who is in charge of you. You are not the boss. I am not the boss. Hello? You are not the boss. God is the boss. There's always one captain on every ship. And that captain is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And of course, the Holy Spirit is leading you and I. We we'll talk so much. We cannot do anything in this ministry without the leadings of the Holy Spirit. We were told how the disciples had to wait. Acts 1.8. They had to wait for that power. And when the power came, they started working in the supernatural. And so today, I'm just going to share just one verse with you and I. Revelations 11, Revelations 12, verse 11. We're reading verse 11 and it says, They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, hallelujah, and by the word of their testimonies. And they loved not their lives unto death. What are we saying? Testimonies. I just love testimonies. And I'll tell you what they do. They are the boosters of faith. They encourage each and every one of us. The Bible, I love my Bible and I say all the time. Why? This is a testimony of what happened to the disciples, to what happened to the prophets, to what happened to men and women, just like you and I, ordinary vessels who were chosen. And so today we're just talking about testimonies. How people have said to us that, you know what? I got healed of depression. I got healed of depression. I didn't see any reason why I should live anymore. I didn't see any reason why my life meant anything to me. But right now, I am so happy because I have a God that loves me. We've heard about others who've lost relationships. Spouses have walked away on them. Kids are just in one place or the other. And because of the word of God, they are standing tall. They're getting back around. We are not saying that divorce is the best thing that can ever happen to you, but we are saying that God loves you, that he will give you comfort in the midst of your trials and your tribulations. We've had those who are sick, who have actually, we've prayed with, and they've had the word. And guess what? They have received back strength, healing, I know a particular person who was diagnosed with cancer not too long ago. And she lost hope. She had felt that, you know what? I'm getting too old. You know, there was no reason. For a couple of weeks, she was very sick. And we stood on the word of God. We we're like, no, you should live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. And one word I kept on saying to her, the Lord loves you. He loves you. And she would listen to the CDs again and again and again. That the Lord loves me. The Lord loves me. I have a purpose. I have a plan for you. And today, she's back in health. And a couple of weeks ago, actually last week, she went back to the doctor and she got a clean bill of health. A lot better than where she was. Now she's back on her feet. Was able to write the exams that she had given up on not writing and made the exams. You know, what am I saying? We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Let us renew our mind according to Romans 12 verse 2. He says that be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I pray in 2019 that you will renew your mind with the love of God and you will study and you will meditate upon the word of God and you will overcome every pain, every situation, because it is not only happening to you. It's happening all over. But we are in this world, but we are not of the world. And I boast to my God and I tell you, as you cast your bodies upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Let go. 
and led God in 2019 and received this abundant harvest that we're talking about because it's available to you, it's available to me. But you have a part to play in this covenant. God has done it for you. He's done it for me, but receive it. And so at this time, I just want you to repeat after me if you have not received Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior. Father, I believe that you died upon the cross of Calvary and on the third day you rose again from the dead. I believe in you and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. If you simply said that, you have become a born again, follow us on our YouTube um, station and on our website www.divineeaglesministry.org and share with your friends. This is going to be a great year for you. I guarantee you that because I know what my God said and he's not a man that he should lie. Jesus loves you. So do we. And Jesus is Lord. Amen. Have a great week. <laughs>